this is our 5760 project. We have made a 3D holographic display and a studio which records the object of interest in real time and it displays it on a 3D holographic pyramid. So uh, over here we have our studio and this is the object that we want to display on the holographic display right now. And as you can see there are four cameras which record the object of interest from all four sides. And these cameras are, there's an FPGA down below which takes the videos and displays it onto the VGA. And you had uh, geometric constraints on the camera yeah. lead, so you had to keep the FPGA the, centered under the studio. Yeah, yeah, under the studio. So we used Legos to just make some space <laughs> for the FPGA. Uh -huh. And we also have, we have ensured that we use the mat. Oh good, ESD <laughs> yeah. mat, I appreciate that. And so uh, then this the is the 3D prism pyramid that we used for the holographic display, but the one that we could make doesn't have a plane surface, which is one of the... Okay, but you, you found a smaller one. Yeah, we, that found, we yeah, found a okay. smaller one. And this isn't truly holographic, but it is 3D. Kind of. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so then the display here is a VGA monitor that is tipped down with the pyramid underneath it, right? So if I look in here, so wiggle the earphones there a little bit. So you can see the moving around in the in the pyramid. Now if I go and look from this side, I see the moving over here. So what what kind of volume do you have done? Put your hand in there now so I can see your hand in the in the scale of that. Oh, I see. Your hands is is quite large. So, uh, how about that roll of tape that was sitting there? So you pull the earphones out, and now there's the tape coming in. Yeah, it's a good effect. And if I get down low enough, I can see the f the four images on the on the VGA monitor there, which are then combined onto the prism. Very nice. Okay. So the so you had to worry a lot about bandwidth because you needed four simultaneous images, yes. and you had a and you and then you you came up with a scheme for calibration on the FPGA that allowed you to move the images around. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very cool. So if you were trying to make this volume bigger what would you do brighter display bigger pyramid uh you can't go too much bigger pyramid because of the vga screen size can you or um, can you so yeah i mean if we have a bigger uh, screen and a brighter have, and a brighter screen yeah. yeah so we also adjusted the brightness and contrast on the monitor to get the best uh yeah mm -hmm. so that was something and then we can also experiment with lighting so now if you have like a larger studio i guess you like the you can actually work, work on the lighting as well these are the few things that you know you can do to get a clear uh, image on the now put put the earbuds back in there please so the uh because one of the one of the interesting things here is that the the cameras are actually looking at each other across the the studio area, and so you you need a you need a nice dark. It's a good thing the cameras appear black almost. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. As it, everything turned out to be. It's very good. Mm -hmm.
lens oh, here. Only the little lens shows, and uh, in the in the scheme of things, let me get up over the top. Come down. Here. Yeah. Okay, thank you.